Hello, welcome back to the Scale Modelling Cafe. Welcome to the Man Cave. And welcome to another oh, another unboxing video. Um, this has literally just arrived. So I thought I'd just take you through what's in this box. Um, kind of a part two from the previous one. Now I know what's in here. So this is from my very good friend Andy at Antics. Uh, lovely model shop in uh, Bristol. Antics is a bit of a chain uh, in the UK. They've got a few um, a few shops around. But right, let's see what we got in here. Got a little box. I've got something big down there, but open this first. If I can get it out, right. The first item I've got is, are these uh, ejection seats for an F14. So um, my mate that I built the F44 that you uh, hopefully have seen. If not, I'll stick a card at the end um, uh, he picked up his f4 yesterday and the next one is going to be a tamir f14 that i'm really looking forward to but i didn't have any seats for it so i got those right the other thing i've got is um this it's az model bootron and um Right, what I'm going to do for this is I want to do a bit of a cut and shut job. As you know, Edward are about to release the BF109 G2, G4. And um, there's some lovely schemes in that, but um, you get two kits in the box. What I want to do is use this to convert that back into this. Now, um, AZ models, I've not really seen their... their Kits before. So have a quick look. Oh, this actually looks really quite nice. But obviously, no rivets or anything like that. Uh, and the cockpit, yeah, it's not going to be up to Edward's level uh, at all. But just have a look at the decals, see if I can spot any interesting company there. No, I can't. Uh, anyway, um, Right, looks like a nice package, but I do quite like doing that, adding adding bits to uh, Edward kits because uh, they are um, they are lovely. But yeah, there we go, that one. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Right, <sighs> I got some bits for the uh, I got a, some bits for the hurricane. So um, I just splashed out and just thought, why not? I'll get a um, Camouflage mask. So this is for the armor hurricane. Um, I thought I'd have a go with some of the HGW uh, stencils. Now the Tetmod stencils are lovely, but I just thought, um, yeah, why not have a go with these? These are the ones we can peel off the decal film. And I got these canopy masks. So um, you get canopy masks in the kit, but this is for the inside as well as the outside. Uh, and uh, you can see that there, the diagram on the back. And I'm a big fan of painting the inside of canopies um, where they're open. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a lifesaver. Right. Coffee finished. And you may have seen a bit of a flash of this as I've got a Tamiya Market Spitfire. Um, now, if you saw the other unboxing video, you'll know that I got the laminar flow design conversion, uh, the Spitfire Mark 14 Griffin conversion. It's for this kit. 
so really excited to to have that now i built the um i built the mark 8 uh sorry the mark 9 when it came out um and that was a beautiful kit so i'm really looking forward to do that 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 will be after the f14 uh also got some thinner um now so how long have we been out in Saudi? i've been out in saudi for three and a half years i've had my modeling kit out there for two and a half years uh, pretty much almost three um and uh, i'm just about at the end of one of these so uh 400 mil that's all the 400 is is how big the bottle is it's not a different formula to the 150 or 250 or whatever it's just 400 milliliters um so i know that lasts me about two to three years two and a half years something like that is one of them so i got that and that is pretty much it so uh yeah uh, a big box for just a few little bits but some exciting things uh, nonetheless so thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next one cheers bye bye